Hello, in this video we're going to go over how to create an 8 directional locomotion system so our character will be able to move in 8 different directions. In this tutorial I'm going to be starting from the third person template but if you have your own character with their own custom animations the tutorial is going to be the exact same process I'm just using a different character. To get started, we're first going to import the locomotion animations that we're going to make our character do. Attached in the description of this video, there are going to be some locomotion animations that you can download. If you want to follow along, make sure to download them, then just select all of these animations and just drag and import them into this folder. For the skeleton, make sure to select the SK mannequin. These animations will only work with the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin. Then just go import all to import the animations. The next thing we're going to do is create a animation blend space which will control the locomotion animation that our character does. To create this we can just right click and go animation and just select blend space. For the skeleton select the SK mannequin and just call this the locomotion blend space. Open this up and we just want to go to asset details and go over to the horizontal axis and give this a name of direction. For the minimum value, make this minus 180, and for the max value, make this 180, and for the grid divisions, make this 8. Then go over to the vertical axis and give this a name of speed. So the idea here is, depending on our character's speed and their direction will depend on the animation that we make them play. When our character has a speed of 0, we're just going to make them play that idle animation. So if you go to the asset browser and look for your character's idle animation, and just drag and place this where it says zero and just place this eight times along the bottom here. So I'm just gonna do that now. Okay, so when our character has a speed of 100 and depending on their direction, which goes from a value of minus 180 to 180, we're gonna make them play a certain animation. When our character has a direction of zero, we're just gonna make them play their running forward animation. So if we just look for our characters, I think it's called, yeah, run forward and just place it in the center here. Next, if you look for your characters, run right forward animation and just place this here. Then look for your characters, run right animation and just place this here. Then look for your characters, run right back animation. So running backwards and towards the right. And then look for your characters, run back animation and just place this here. Then we're going to do the opposite for the left side. So we're going to look for our characters run left forward animation. Then we're going to look for their running left animation. Then we want their running backwards and towards the left animation. And then we want the running back animation. If you just press the control button, you'll be able to preview what animation your character will play depending on their direction and speed. So when I place it here, my character is running backwards. If I place it here, then my character is kind of running towards the right. And if I place it here, my character is running towards the left. Okay, nice, we can save this. The next thing we're gonna do is create an animation blueprint. If we just right click and go animation, select animation blueprint for the skeleton, select the SK mannequin and just go create. And we can just call this the locomotion animation blueprint. If we open this up, the first thing we wanna do is just right click and look for state machine and just connect this into here. So this output pose represents the final animation that our character is going to do and we're going to code that inside of here. So if we just double click and open it up, find the locomotion blend space that we made earlier and just connect this into entry. Then if we just double click and open this up, we can see the um, two names here, direction and speed, and depending on these values will depend on the animation that our character does. If we just right click on this direction one and promote it to a variable, then do the same for speed, just right click on it and promote it to a variable. So the next thing we need to do is calculate our character's direction and speed. To do this, if we just go over to the event graph, then we want to just drag off this try get pawn owner. This will just get the owner of whatever is using this animation blueprint, and we're going to make that be our third person character. We just want to drag up here and look for is valid. If we can get a valid reference to whatever is using this animation blueprint, we're going to get the speed of it. So to do that, we can just drag up here and look for get velocity. Then from here, we can drag off and look for vector length. And this will tell us the speed of whatever is using this animation blueprint. We can just drag this in and look for set speed and connect it into here and is valid into here. So this will basically update every second of our animation. 
Then to calculate the direction, we can just drag in the direction, set it. Then we just want to drag off this um, get velocity and look for the calculate direction. So here it is. So this also needs our character's rotation. To get this, we can just drag off here and look for get actor rotation and connect this into here. Then just connect this return value into direction and this into here. We can then go compile. We can then close this. And if we just go over to our third person character and to the viewport, I'm just going to select them and I'm going to change them from using the um, default animation blueprint to the locomotion animation blueprint that we made earlier. And one more thing, if we just go to character movement, go to the details and look for rotation and just uncheck orient rotation to movement. When we have this checked, this will kind of mess with the um, calculating of the direction because with this checked, our character will kind of rotate to wherever we kind of make them move. So we want this unchecked when we're making this locomotion system. We can just compile this and test this out. So if I go play, I can move my character forwards, backwards, backwards and towards the left, backwards and towards the right, towards the right, towards the left, and towards the front left and towards the front right. Nice, so with this we have made an eight directional locomotion animation system. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, let me know any more other tutorial ideas that you want me to make down in the comments.